Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex with C1N. This is the Road to the Bless the Babies Bowl, December the 2nd through the 8th in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Now look, man, last week we gave you some highlights. We had a great time. We had some great interviews. I know y'all saw Keith from OG Duck. He did a good job. We had Big Mike from uh, Atlanta Elite. He did a good job. This week we are going to bring more. So get your energy up. Let's have a good time watching these highlights. 10 and under action, SED Wolverines, AKA Party Boys taking on NTX Storm. Running backs runs around the right side. Great blocking downfield. I don't see that. Okay, yeah. Hit him with the bra one time. <laughs> SCD would take the lead. Here they go again, handing off to the running back. Nice cut inside, finds the open seam. Gets down the right sideline, trips up a little bit, but still has that will to get into the end zone. Great job by number one. Then here, quarterback, quick release. Get the ball out your hands. Catch the ball, score a touchdown and the SED Party Boys, SED Wolverines, whatever you want to name them, win the game. Indy Blackhawks first, NLE. Indy Blackhawks won with the jet sweep around to the left side. Now watch this here, Coach is walking with a cane right here. He's walking and he's all of a sudden running. I tell you what, the healing powers of a touchdown and a win. How about that, Indy Blackhawks win the game. Look, if you don't like that action on the field, something's wrong with you, man. Did you see that play that kid made? All right, coming up next, DMVU taking on Virginia Beach Mustangs. DMVU taking on the Mustangs. Mustangs in that T formation there. As number 12 gets in the backfield from DMVU. Teammates celebrating with him. I like to see that. Number 10 quarterback says, now hold on now, y'all ain't just about to sack me and I ain't gonna make no play. He goes deep and fires number five who gets in the end zone. Big touchdown play by them, Mustangs on the scoreboard. But DMVU, number 11, good, tough running. Gets down to the goal line, and here they will punch it on in and score a touchdown, DMVU would be on the scoreboard. Defensively, DMVU playing some defense, flying to the ball. Look at that, I love it when 11 half to the ball. Him a man, go ahead and do the Ray Lewis dance. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, that never gets old. DMVU, quarterback hanging in there, gets touchdown pass, and DMVU would win the game over the Mustangs. All right, let's go ahead and get into the rankings. Who are the number one teams in the country? And listen, we hope to see you guys at the Roll to the Bless the Babies Bowl, Cocoa Beach, Florida, December the 2nd through the 8th, where some of the best teams in the country come to play. At five and under, at number one, Municipal Raiders out of Alabama. At number two, Atlanta Elite. Number three, Georgia Falcons. Number four, Bessemer. And at number five, Xavier Elite. In the six and under C1N national rankings, GEA takes the top spot. Right behind them is Bessemer Tigers from Alabama. And then coming up in the rear would be MBK Academy. At seven and under, another Georgia team. It seems like the Georgia teams are dominating these C1N national polls here. Atlanta Elite and again Bessemer from Alabama. At number three, up north, Cincy Hedgehog Boys. At number nine, Old Town Ducks from Detroit. And then Hemi Boys bring it up the rear. At the eight and division, ranked number one in the country, Adamsville. Following behind them, Pompano Chiefs. Then you see the Rare Breeze making their way and Space City. And of course, TNT from Texas. And then at the bottom, PPP, which is Peter Park Panthers from Alabama. In the 9 and under division, RDE takes the top spot with So Icy taking unfortunately a loss this week. Pompano Eagles following up, Hulk Boys, and closing out the rankings is Relentless. In 10 and under, at number one, probably the team that everyone knows about, the Atlanta Elite Voodoo, followed by Murmar Wolverine and then Del Ray Rocks. At 11 and under, led by Coach James in the C1N National Polls, the Georgia Eagles. At number two, the Torrance City Ducks. At number three, MCU. 
At number five, let's go out there to Texas, DEA, West Georgia, excuse me, West Orlando, following them up. And then at number 10 will be AME from Kentucky in the 12 and under division. At number one, Fort Lauderdale Hurricanes. Going down the list, you see Alpha Dogs, North Carolina. Then Built Academy out of Texas. And then Philly Stand Up, North Philly Blackhawks. In the 13 and under division for the C1N National Ranking. At number one, Rare Breed. They are considered the most dominant team in the country, hands down. Following them will be Boyden Bulldogs, Miami Garden Ravens, led by a good coach over there, Coach Mack, known very well. Detroit Cubs, OG Ducks out of Cali, Primetime Elite, Trey Man Elite, Las Vegas Tribe, Certified South, and DMV University. Look, whether you agree with the rankings or disagree with the rankings, we would love to hear your opinions. Please put them in the comments. Now let's go to Coach Angel out there in Texas with the SED Wolverines. Coach, man, I know you can hear me. What's going on with you? All right, all right. How y'all doing out there, man? Coach, your team has high expectations, not from just, you know, as far as having good players and wanting to win games. You guys dominate games. Tell me about that. Well, man, at, the, at first it starts with all the boys, man. We don't have not one one player, you know, that the superstar. At the end of the day, all 11 go on their field and they know their job and they, they know what they do. And one thing we tell them, once you strap that helmet on, put them shoulder pads, lace up them cleats, man, it's time to show out. It's time to go put all that hard work that we do at practice. It's time to go have fun on that field. And, you know, just show out and let people know who, who they are. You know, they just got to represent. Now, Coach, everywhere you guys go, you are considered one of the better teams in the country. How do your kids kind of handle that pressure, right? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, they're still young kids, right? But when they go into a stadium, they go into, you know, a park or whatever, all eyes are on them when they walk in, right? All eyes are on Coach Angel boys. How do you guys handle that? We had to look pretty good, man. Um, the boys know. I try to tell the boys, tune out everything else. You know, once they step on that field, the only people they need to be listening to and and really paying attention to is us, us coaches. You know, um, they they do they do real good tuning out. That I mean, they be hype. You know, that's what makes the kids hype. You know, we we hype them up in the parking lot. We jumping around, we jamming, we got the music going, we got the horns blowing. You know, we that's that that just makes us it feeds us. It feeds our energy. Our energy's high. That's why we call the party boys. That's one thing that I did. My boys, I've been having my boys since they were four years old, man. And we started from the Wednesday night leave flag. And once I got on that field and I seen them boys dancing on the field and all that, I came up with the name with the party boys and Hey, we live, we the, we the live of the party. You know, we bring the party wherever we come. And so we used to it, put at that. In October, we plan on seeing you guys down there in Charlotte, ready to get it on. You tell me what's going to happen out there when you guys take the field. Shit, we going to pop our shit. You know what I'm saying? We going to pop our shit, let these folks know they got to respect this. And I'm, I'm just, I'm really just tired of people saying SED don't come out, Texas teams don't come out. We we come out when we need to come out. We ain't jumping into anything different, anybody else shit or nothing like that. We gonna come out when we need to, when it's a perfect time for us. Once again, at the end of the day, let me, I'm just tell everybody we a five hundred one c league, you know. So we what we try to do is make sure we have the right funds, you know, and helping making sure all my kids coming out. I'm not going anywhere to play any goddamn team with a half a clip. I'm coming, I'm coming fully loaded, fully loaded. I'm going to let it all go. I'm letting the whole drum go on y'all ass when I get down there. All right, Coach, I'm going to ask this last question. I'm going to let you go ahead and get out of here. Most coaches stand on certain principles, right, whether it be hard work or execution, whatever it is, right, whatever it is that's kind of your mantra of how you guys have been performing this season, 
and kind of what you say to the players every time they take the field. What is those what is those certain things you say to them that kind of gets them going that represents who you guys are? Discipline. Discipline, discipline, discipline. You cannot win a football game if your team is not disciplined. That's one thing that we preach, hard work, dedication, and discipline. Our chant is hard work and dedication. And also, like, you F up, just know your ass coming out the game. That's called discipline. You got to be disciplined to play with the Southeast Dallas Wolverines. And that's on any level. That's one of our principles that we want as coaches on our and our organization, hard work, dedication, and discipline. Discipline is the, the top notch. You can't win a game without being disciplined. Our players have to be disciplined. They got to know their job. Do your job. Trust your brother to do his job. We win as a team. Once again, I tell y'all, it's not one star on SED Wolverines. We got I got 30 kids, I got 30 dogs, I got 30 stars. And all 30 know what they got to do. Coach, we appreciate you so much for taking time here with C1N on the road to the Bless the Babies Bowl. We will see you guys in Charlotte. We want to congratulate this week's Player of the Week, the C1N Player of the Week. Salute to you, man. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the show. The Roll to the Bless the Babies Bowl, December the 2nd through December the 8th, Cocoa Beach, Florida, where the best competition will come to play. We'll see you there. And man, we're gonna make sure Cam in the building too. We're gonna tell him to put one of them hats on too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what we're talking about. So we will have a great time, man. Enjoy yourself. Until then, we'll see you next week, man. Keep staying healthy out there. Keep playing hard out there. See you soon.